Guys, we were so close. So damn close. Uh -huh. Welcome back to another Princess Connected video. My name is Lace, and today we are talking about clan battles again. I hope you guys aren't sick of it. Like, to be honest, this is the only thing I can think about, even though, like, clan battles ended. But, like, did it really, though? Like, did it actually end? Like, because every time I close my eyes and try to sleep, you know, I start, like, counting the purple sheep that, but it does big, big AoE damage and it screws over my car, and I've just dropped 50k damage for no other reason than trash RNG. And so, yeah, I'm going to be talking about what's next for clan battles and what I'm going to be personally looking out for. Before we talk about that, I wanted to quickly run through how I personally did as a soft launch player with like the monthly pack and unfortunately I didn't do like everything right but I like to think that I did alright. So if I quickly hop into like the clan battle menu uh, here, into the eye, into the in clan, so I think I placed 17th, yeah I placed 17th in terms of score, but score isn't really like the best kind of indicator for your performance right because like as you guys know, you guys have gone through it now, each of the monsters actually have a bigger multiplier as you go through. For example, the first boss was at one and then the second boss was like 1.2 times score or something third boss was like 1.5 times score fourth boss was something similar and then like the sheep was like two times the score what's really the best indicator of your performance is actually in your personal logs so if we go into it uh you can look through here and you can probably like slow down the video or something and have a calculate but i'm pretty sure it was pulling like about 1.2 to 1.3 mil each day uh and, and that's of damage 1.3 mil of damage right so let's take this one for example 430 540 that's um that's nine six 70 and 970 and 300 is 12 70 so that's 1.27 mil i feel that my performance in this guild was quite average like because like i think everyone should be better than me but that's it's okay like you know it was the first clan battle and it was a lot to it was a lot to digest also obviously the boss that you hit actually matters as well like for example mad bear like he was he was cocking people left and right with his stun the overall rankings we ranked 12 so i'm in the guild valk and this is like it's okay it's okay like we're we're up, we're up against some pretty heavy hitters like you know we got all the whale guilds we got all the really really great people and um I, I know where we fell short and that's kind of what I want to talk about today as well. So the biggest thing for us was like the attack order that some of the pumps that you use, some are actually better than the others, right? So teams with like Cockroach, if you're doing Cockroach swap, you're going to be wanting to hit like, um, like for example, bosses one to three. Personally, I said one and three for Cockroach swap and there's all this like other like really complicated stuff like clan battles is actually really in depth if you really want to min max it. But long story short, uh, one of the biggest shortcomings for us was that we didn't coordinate the attacks that well. Like on the first day, we really did, you know, we only did like hate swaps on like one and three and tank comps on like two and four and stuff like that but but by the last day i think everyone was fatigued from it so i was like okay you know what we'll just do our best and we'll just try to hit it like with as many of the, like the optimal comps as possible i personally think that top 10 was definitely on the cards but like i, I guess we didn't we didn't perform what i'm going to talk about next is my parties so here is like the three kind of parties that i was using for the most part like these are generally the units that i was using for the next clan battle kauri has to be three star shiori has to be at least three star and i'm hoping if rng would let me do it four star tamaki will be four star hopefully hiori will be replaced with maybe a three star ray something like that if rng permits again and eriko again like hopefully she'll be three star in terms of levels hopefully everyone will be like 82 plus if not 85 we'll see how how i'm feeling you know like refreshing is it, it takes quite a toll on me i'm trying to save that bank because like you know this is a waifu game but yeah that's kind of the goals for the next cb which is in about 20 days oh my god this is actually hell. With that being said, let me hop over back to the nerd docs and have a look at the timeline first. So if we look over here, we have the Irisa banner and we have the Ayana banner coming up and Rin's banner is about to actually finish. By and large, tab three, clan battle. Most of this is going to stay the same, except I'm going to add a new comp. It's called the Kokoro swap comp. And the reason it's so good is because like you can swap out Miyako, who doesn't actually add much offensive capabilities for Kokoro and use her to tank. However, most players were probably not able to get the Kokoro three star, which is what you kind of need to actually make it work. And so definitely by clan battle two, I would definitely have like another section for a, a new team comp it's just called the Kokoro swap comp or even just the Kokoro comp i hope by now you guys realize how strong Kokoro is you know 20 percent action speed physical attack up magical attack up and, it's, and physical attack up again like she's, she's pretty busted but yeah looking at these teams there's not much that's going to change like the only thing that's really going to change is really your physical dps like if you guys have like uh for example mimi hopefully if you can get mimi to three star that'd be really good kari if you can get kari to three star that'd be that's probably the top priority to be honest if there's anything that you need to do it's get your Kari up and so that sadly kind of makes it so like Susana is really hard to get up because they both share the same coin it's the princess arena coins Shiori three star at least there's kind of no excuse considering we're getting the Hatsune event and if you've been farming her all along there's a four star possibility as well but yeah if I could have my way I would really like to have like a three star Mimi three star Eriko hopefully come on RNG and the last one I'm considering juicing is actually Shinobu I really should build her just to test her out because I like, you know she could be occupying this spot right here to give me two defense down units 
If you guys haven't seen the table yet, as defense goes down, each defense like that is like reduced is worth more. So you can see here, right? From zero to five, it's a defense reduction of 4.76%, right? But if we go to 100, from 100 to 50, it's a defense reduction of 1.2%. So the lower you go, the better it is. And I think it's for reasons like that, that Shinobu is actually kind of decent. I know a lot of people shit Turco, but like I, I, I still need to test. Again, the only other major thing that could change is actually the Arisa banner. So Arisa, like I said in the last video, she's pretty much like a pretty good uh, Shiori a pretty good Susana, all wrapped up and three-star base at least. I know some people are going to pull for her. I know a lot of people that aren't going to pull for her. Honestly, like if you really, really competitive for clan battle and like, you know, you're willing to spend a bit, Arisa, you can't go wrong. But if you're a low spender free to play, I mean, you could consider her. You could try your luck. But uh, for the most part, there's there's too much going on. There's too much high priority that's about to come. <laughs> so yeah, back to my point, especially about the archers, Shiori, Susana, and Arisa, like, you know, they're all freaking good. They are all really, really good. I really wish that I built my Susana for this CV. Like she was, I saw the other clan members and they were pulling massive damage. They were doing like 45k crits on like her UV and stuff. Like, oh my God. And Arisa is just going to be better and you're just going to have her on a third team. Like that's going to be freaking juicy. Honestly, this clan battle got me like tilted off the face of the earth. And I'm just looking at Arisa and like, I'm like, I want to do it. But I can't do it. But yeah, otherwise, there's not too much that's going to change here. The only other thing, I guess, is like the boss attack order. So for example, like if you attack boss one, four and five or like two, three, five or whatever with like certain comps. For example, I'm not sure if you guys got to like the big bag bear wolf guy, but like he's really, really strong and he mauled my people up the front. So like I was required to take a tank for this guy. And for example, I couldn't use Kokoro Swap. But yeah, otherwise, like from the next clan battle onwards, I think it's just going to get like more and more damage so we can get away with less. And honestly, we might might even start needing like some heals as well so i think a couple of the guys i've been reading they actually even mentioned using like yukari but yeah that's kind of where i'm at now like you know our clan did okay you know top 12 you know it just really you know top 10 was just really a real possibility right and it's just a little bit disappointing that we couldn't get there and i could have done better i think a lot of people could have done better and i think everyone realizes that but like you know we'll see where we go from here honestly i think that's it guys so i'm just gonna wrap this up all in all, this was a great experience, but it really like hindered like a lot of my outside life. Like I wasn't able to push out content as frequently as I wanted and it got my like sleep schedule all screwed up because I was trying to like coordinate attacks like crazy. The secret message is clam battle never stops. I think you guys can tell I'm a little bit addicted now. If you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really, really appreciate it. It tells me that you've made it to the end of the video and therefore my hard work was appreciated. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, etc. You know the works and I will catch you guys in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.